Apple, Redken artist and salon owner. Welcome to my second video on the beauty industry. Today I'm talking about the realities about being in the beauty industry and what are the best qualities to have so that you can know if you're fit or not. I've been in this industry for about seven years now and I've seen a lot of different personalities and things that work and things that don't. So I thought I'd prepare you guys by letting you know about all the good personality traits that are going to help you have a more successful career in the beauty industry. In the beauty industry, one of the first things I noticed that are a great personality trait to have is to be proactive and positive. The reason that's super important is because even if you work for somebody else, most of the time the clientele building and building contacts depends on you. So you really have to take responsibility and be super positive and proactive on finding contracts, finding jobs, finding clients, and keeping up that relationship. That leads me to my second point. You should definitely be a confident person. It will help you because if you're confident, you automatically gain the trust of whoever you're working with. And that means clients and or bosses and team that you're working with. Being confident brings me to my next two points, which are being trustworthy and being customer service oriented. What those two points mean is that you have to be trustworthy in either for the client to understand that it's all about them at the end of the day and you want them to be happy. My next point is being creative. Being creative is super important in this industry, but not only in the services we give, but the way we sell it as well. Aside from being creative, it's really important to be a good problem solver. Whether you're doing hair, makeup, nails, lashes, you're always gonna run into problems throughout your day, but you really can't let that bring you down. You have to be great at solving problems in order to gain that trust from your client so that they know that even if you make a mistake, you found a way to fix it. One of the best qualities you can have as a service provider in the beauty industry is to love learning. Not only love learning, but educating your clients as well on all the new techniques and all the new ingredients and products that are out for you and them to practice and share and use. Another great quality to have is being able to see the bigger picture and not focus too much on the small details. The reason that's a good idea is because often there's going to be little imperfections in our work. We're not perfect, right? But we need to sell our product as being perfect and realize that our overall product is actually quite good. If you focus on your small detail that maybe you did wrong, your client is going to feel it right away. So definitely always be selling the bigger picture. A great quality you can have in the beauty industry, but everywhere else as well, is stress and time management. If you're good at managing stress and time, then you'll be great for this industry because there's a lot of stress and a lot of time to manage. You can have a lot of clients at a time or only a couple of clients at a time or even just one. It's really great to be able to manage your time so that you can always have your focus on the client at hand, but in the back of your head, of course, be organizing what you're gonna do with the other people. Honesty is super important in this industry. It's great to be honest with your clients in order to take responsibility for the services you gave or even the service that another hairdresser gave your client. So let's say you just gave your client an amazing haircut, but it's not quite what they asked for. And they expressed to you that that's not exactly what they were looking for and they can't quite pinpoint what's wrong with it. Instead of taking it personal, it's super important to be honest and recognize that you may not have done exactly what they wanted. And that's when your skill of fixing problems comes in. So definitely be honest at all times because your clients will know right away. It's really important to be able to read between the lines. What do I mean by that? On a daily basis, we're dealing with consultations with clients all the time. They might show us a picture and explain that they want a golden blonde, but really we see an ashy blonde. Or they're showing us a picture of makeup and they say they don't want a smoky eye, but really it is or whichever the situation. It's important to be able to get to the point of what they really want and not necessarily what they're saying they want because it's not always the same thing. Working in the beauty industry, it's important to be able to work really good solo, but also really good in a team. There's always gonna be teamwork involved. Whether you're working in a salon, at a beauty counter, at a photo shoot, there's always teamwork involved. But if you can't work good solo, that's also gonna be a problem because you're the one being relied on to do your job properly. So it's great to have both of those qualities. Two other qualities that work well together are not being shy to ask questions and being a great listener. 
Like I said before, we do a lot of consultations on a day-to-day -day basis. If we're shy to ask questions, we might not get the right answers we need in order to give the best service. And if you're not good at listening, you might not hear the key points that you need to have in order to give them the best hair, makeup, or service that they want. Last but not least, you need to be a great multitasker. Now if you have all these qualities, you're well on your way to being fit for the beauty industry. If you have any beauty industry questions, write them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you soon. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.